Hey guys, welcome to 10 with Tom, where we get to unpack our fate 10 minutes at a time. Today, we're going to have Sesh with Cash. And today, I'd love to talk to you a little bit about gratitude. So last week, I had an opportunity to preach online on Sunday. If you haven't had an opportunity to check that out, here's a link right here. You can go and check it out right now. Not now, after 10 with Tom. Um, so I'd love to share a little bit with you about gratitude. See, often in life, when life pushes us past our limits, or maybe we're waiting for way too long for God to answer our prayers, uh, gratitude uh, doesn't flow so easily. But scripture is very clear about the power that gratitude has in our lives. Uh, God calls us to be thankful in all things. First Thessalonians 5 verse 18 in everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Now, maybe you might be like me. You have questioned this idea of giving thanks for all things uh, because sometimes it doesn't feel so easy to give thanks for things like illness, maybe a global pandemic, maybe natural disasters. These things cause major destruction in people's lives. So how can we give thanks for these things but i think if we start to look at the scripture carefully we'll discover that it doesn't say that we need to give thanks for all things but it says we need to give thanks in everything and that's the difference god is good and he does good things and he doesn't change regardless of the circumstances that we may be facing in our lives we need to see god's goodness when we feel like life is bad because it helps us to put things into perspective Maybe one of the reasons that God mandates it is so that we can take our eyes off the trouble that we are facing and put our eyes back on Him who is still there, present in the midst of all of that, still there loving and caring for us. So gratitude is a choice that we have to constantly make. We have to try to look for the good in every situation because giving thanks in all things, it might not change our situation, but it will definitely change us in the situation. Now there's this uh, Scottish minister and professor who once said that there is always something for which to give thanks for. Even in our darkest days, uh, there are blessings to count. We must remember that if we face the sun, the shadows will be behind us. But if we turn our backs from the sun, then the shadows will be in front of us. Now there's a moment in the Apostle Paul's life uh, where we can read about it in Acts 27. It encourages us to give praise no matter what we face. Paul had been in prison and put on a ship under Roman guard and the ship was soon caught in a, a violent hurricane and the crew, they tried to save the ship by putting ropes around it. They began to start throwing their cargo off. They threw, threw away their, their tackle. Um, and they had given up hope and 14 days had passed and they had no belief that they would be rescued from the storm. They didn't eat anything for those 14 days either. And then the one night, Paul, he gets a visit from an angel in one of his dreams and the angel tells him that he shouldn't worry because everybody on board the ship will be saved. So Paul, he gets up and he gets everybody together and after 14 days of not eating, he takes bread and he encourages them to eat and regain their strength. So he takes the bread, he breaks it, and he gives thanks to God. They eat, they regain their energy, and they are restored. The ship is saved. Every member on board of the crew was saved. They all reached the destination safely. Now Paul, in the midst of the chaos, he doesn't wait for the storm to end. Instead, Right in the midst of the storm, he gives thanks. And this is an encouragement for us to give thanks. That no matter what we're facing, we don't wait to get to the end of it. We don't wait to get to the other side. But we get to give thanks right in the midst of it. Because that's where God is. He's right there in the midst of the storm with you. So having gratitude, not just after we receive the hope and the help that we were looking for. But having gratitude in the midst of it. James chapter 1 verse 2 to 4 says, Count it all as joy, my brothers, when you meet the trials of various kinds, for you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness, and that steadfastness 
have its full effect, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. So if we go through trials and we can learn to count it all as joy, then we are well on our way of perfecting our faith. Being able to count it all as joy and being able to give thanks in all things, it allows us to press on in our faith. So I'd love to leave you with a few ideas today. And the first is that our ability to be thankful changes when we acknowledge the fact that um, our life and the world we live in, it's actually temporary. Uh, and the second thing is the true root of our gratitude isn't, if what, isn't in what we think we are entitled to in this world. It's about what we have already received through Christ eternally. And lastly, a grateful heart comes from knowing that God has shown us the ultimate love by sending His Son as a sacrifice so that we can all receive that eternal life. Hope you enjoyed Sesh with Cash this week. You can be back next week for 10 with Tom. Hey guys, welcome to 10 with Tom where we explain... Explain? No, we don't explain. <laughs> We don't explain yeah, 10 with Tom. Okay, let, that we may face, that we may be facing. So I'd love to leave you with three things today. Think. <laughs> okay. I'd love to leave you with three, three things. Three, 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 three. I'd love to leave you with a few things today. <laughs> And the ship was soon caught in a, a violent hurricane and the crew, they really tried to sh save, shave the ship. No, they didn't shave the ship, they tried to save it.